ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another wonderful and exciting episode of Tunes Day. Tunes Day, the day we build music from scratch. Uh, today, we are going to write some solo, wait, I should be on this screen, some solo piano. And I move myself over here now, so that way we can see my hands a little bit better with the wide cam. Yeah, Tunes Day on a Saturday. That's true rewards. Dipping below five isn't terrible. It's when it says below five for a long time. That's true. That's true. I, I, I just restarted the stream super quick because within like the first three minutes, it had already dipped down to like 500 KBS. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. We're not going to do that all day today. That, that's what sort of happened a little bit on the last, um, my last Tunes Day. But, but I think we're good. We updated it now, so fingers crossed that's all OBS needed. What's going on, Jay Grim Guy? Welcome back. Um, I want to do solo piano day because last for two reasons. One, the main reason that I always say on Tunes Day is I haven't done it in a while. But also because last Tunes Day, it was eight hours. And it was like full band, lyric writing and singing. And it's just like, I'd like to do the exact opposite, sort of. Just solo piano. Almost no production involved. This is just going to be, you know, writing, testing creative chops. Interesting chord progressions. Ooh, there it is. Okay, hang on a minute. I need to lift. So, uh, I started playing this just before... Um, just like just as I was sort of warming up, practicing a teeny bit of piano before I went live, uh, I was just basically playing these two chords. You can see, oh yeah, it's it's framed up good. Hang on, let's let's do this. We can make this even bigger. There's nothing on the other screen right now. Uh -uh. So it's like a E major seven. And then I also do, I do like sort of a suspension. And I go down to this F sharp in the middle. And then we go to just a B major. But we play the middle notes that actually make up the B major at separate times, you know? So that, that way you hear the melody of. But I thought also we could do. Um, That's where I want the melody to go, but I gotta figure out what chords we gotta layer around it. But I like this so far. In fact, I don't think I need the low notes like this, or at least not at the start. Maybe if we get more intense at the end or something, but if we're starting at the beginning, technically we can even start like an octave up, go like. Now, here's the tough thing. This is just me as a player. Since the melody is in the middle here, the best way to play this would be to play with the most force on that note and the other notes around like played a little softer. So that way you, it really comes out more. Uh, it's very hard to play just on my own. A really good piano player could probably do it. Let me, uh... You can hear it a little bit there, I sort of did it. That wasn't bad. Um, but the beauty of doing it through MIDI, of course, is we can just, if I, if when we record and I play it too loud, I'll just go in and fix it. I guess that's the, that's the level of production we do with the piano tracks is just mainly fixing my mistakes. But other than that, oh, here, let's do a couple other things just on this general piano sound. Cause all I did is create just an empty piano track. We should also give it here wait let me go back to this real quick pop that out let's change the reverb you know it's just one track let's just 
put the reverb on the fucking track. That's too much. Okay. One other thing. Do we just have like an EQ piano preset? That's got to be something, right? Yeah. Piano one. There we go. Boom. Probably good enough. I'm willing to trust Ableton's presets for that. Sounds nice. Just tiny little two second things I can do to instantly make the piano sound, in my opinion, a little bit nicer. Um, glad my camera still doesn't block it here. Okay. Trying to think of the chords that have this in, in, we could do A, we could do C sharp minor. I don't really want to do the C sharp minor. I mean, I could, hang on. Oh no, we're dipping below. No, the OBS update has failed me. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, we're back. We're back at 5,000. 5, I'm going to need to figure out what's going on with that. I don't think it's my internet. Especially because someone else said that other people have had that same problem sometimes. So I think it's something going on with OBS I need to fuck with. Whatever, I'll keep a close eye on that. 2.5% of frames were dropped? That's so many. How long was it doing that? I don't even know. Whatever. At least it still prioritizes audio, so even if the video starts fucking up, you can always still hear this, I think. I think we need more movement between this. I can't just go... I need to go like... Uh... I guess moving the top note would be nice as well. So it goes. I'm going to start guessing around because I feel like, wait, okay, here's an idea. I'm, I'm trying to match up chords with the C sharp, right? And I'm like, oh, what, what fits with that? But I shouldn't think of it like that because we just immediately go, we go to this B. What chords can I make with this B? Because then we can think of it as a suspension like this. Oh, whoops, hang on. I played that really badly. that um, another suspension I 
you know, it, it resolves nicely that way. So, um, Because then it doesn't go anywhere. Then it just goes. I don't want to do that. Um, with B in the middle, it would be something like that. still need a little bit of work. Let's do this. I do know one thing. I want this tied to a steady steady uh, tempo. Whoa, wrong camera. Let's do this. I can actually use this lo-fi kit for a kit. Oh. I like that. That's a nice... It's our metronome. Our metronome. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be a lot slower. Yeah, this is a slower song, so probably like 75. If, I, if I'm really bad at playing it too, we can always play it slower and speed it up because it is still MIDI. It really doesn't matter. We can play it at any tempo. Snapshot what I just did there real quick. Just knocking shit over off screen. Nothing to see here. We're all good. Didn't actually fall. <laughs> There's another computer right here that I almost knocked over. chair got stuck in it.
Well, that's better. Okay. Let's, uh, but yeah, anyways, back to this. This part's not bad. What if I, you know, no, we don't need to do that. If this is how, or no, 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 we do. Because if I can get this synced up really, really nice on the beat. Oh, actually, it's already good. We don't lose anybody? Wow, how did I play it all right on the beat? So we got to fix a little bit of timing here. Let's just consolidate right here real quick. I still might want to change this last chord here. We got all the components. I can literally arrange the notes anyway. So let's try to figure out a different chord we can go to maybe. What if we just got rid of this top note? I think it's because that note stays. I, I hit this too loud, maybe? That is it. Excuse me. Um, I did just hit that too loud. So actually, let's turn this one back on. 44, 42, 37. 58 and turn this one up a little bit more even. I like that. You just gotta hear the right notes as the louder notes. Um so let's let's do this. Now, the way that this is played, this could very easily just be a left hand thing. You know, I played this with two hands, but I'm the way I record these is I don't necessarily play them in a, in a setting where I'm, you know, to my level of being able to play it all the way through just because, I don't know, I'm a better piano writer than I am player. So I can play little bits here and there that I need, but in terms of creating a giant piece, um, I, I just prefer to do that in pieces. So the idea I'm having right now is what if you did this whole thing that I'm doing right here with your left hand, which I could do. Wait, I do... Uh, See right there, just did the whole thing with just my left hand. Sure, it was pretty sloppy. Sure, it was not right on the beat, but with enough practice, it can be done, right? Um, I'm more saying that it's physically possible. And some of these chords are hard, you know, this. You need a big hand for this. 
because you're doing over an octave between these two, you know. But um, you know, most most pianists, Tihi, um, should be good at playing octaves with their left hand already. So stretching a little further probably won't kill them unless they have tiny hands. I should go back to. Or no, no, never mind. Can I do this? Maybe, maybe this is better. We'll just sit just slightly sideways today. That way you can just see a little bit more of the piano. Um, but anyways, the whole point of me saying you could do this with just your left hand is because what if this keeps repeating a little bit with some maybe very changes here and there? We could do something like this. Fuck you, come on. Let's do this, hang on. You know, that's kind of nice. Keep looping. So I'll, I'll try to plan to add more variation, but for right now... I already, I already can hear some variation in this. I like that. That's something I should have fixed from the beginning. I did this. Bugs me. It's too late. I'll I'll will settle for late, but not that late. like that jump.
You know what I need to do? I need to analyze and fix my problems before I copy and paste it four times. <laughs> this is too loud. Gotta really make that melody stand out better. up there again. Maybe make it a little louder. Well, we're gonna figure it out better, but. Okay. Now, I'd have to think of how I want this to go, because if we play through this the full way in all fours, the second piano I'm talking about coming in won't come in until 26 seconds. Is I'm wondering if it's really a good idea to start like this. Because when, when I hear this, I, I feel like after the first two, I get the gist of it and I want to go. It's 
snapshot whatever I just did. I was on the other track, right? Yes. Okay. Let's fix a couple of these. What if I did this? Here's my idea. Let's take this big bunch and paste this right here. And I think I want to do this. Can we simplify this even more for the first half? Like, can I do this? I feel like this is too long. That's my worry. I could do something else to make this interesting, but then it would be not a solo piano, like rain sounds or bird sounds, right? And then those fade out, or we could make this piano fade in. We could do more production work. We gotta be in there.
Let's change this chord. This might be where we modulate then. I want it to be A flat minor. So we keep the Bs. that no 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 sharp is there no pedal lift there This, this is the problem. And then there we could transition somewhere else. I'm actually more okay with that because that, that is still different. And then by 50 seconds, we're on to whatever our second part is. So less than a minute. Um, let's try this though. Grab everybody here. I'll just turn you down a couple notches. go somewhere else. Yeah, I like this. That's a great start.
it does feel like it does want to go back into the E because we, we sort of go to this. So it very naturally feels like it can go back into that. Um, at the same time, we could easily modulate it to this. I'm kind of leaning towards. piano are making me cry they're so emotional i'm weeping <laughs> welcome sushi monsters yeah i'm actually just like improv around here trying to figure out where to go but it sounds pretty nice right Keep playing till I'm alive, and one day I'll be gone, and there will be no one to remember me. Oh my god, this song. What is it doing? What have I become? Where are we going? What's the point of it all? Why does my internet bandwidth keep di disappearing in front of my eyes? What's happening? What's the point of living if I can't be online? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry if the stream got a little laggy there. My OBS is being shitty. If if this if the stream gets laggy or it starts cutting out, it's probably me. It's not you. It's me I'm giving you the breakup talk. Um. Just because, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta look into my OBS. You're used to like, well, I'm not used to as much lag as I've gotten. I've, I've dropped 1,700 frames this stream, which isn't that much. It says 1% of my frames, so I guess not that bad. But a poor router got saved. Yes, I saved. Your router can live to die another day. <laughs> All right, where are we coming out of this again? Here, if you haven't heard Sushi Monsters, here's what we got so far. We got 50 seconds worth of music. Right here.
No, that's not mood lighting. That's bad too. Dang. So, okay, wait, with the candle burning. Okay, I think I got this. Here we go. Okay, we got this now. This is this is what you meant, right? Oh my. It says candles, but I don't see no candles. <laughs> you know what? I didn't expect to have a whole virtual space that I can move around in. We can shuffle over here. Oh, then I disappear. <laughs> I like those ones. All right. I don't have any good mood lighting <laughs> I can do. <laughs> oh, wait. What about this? Whoa. Okay, well. I wish it didn't strobe like that. I'm going to give you a seizure. I thought that'd be cool, but... Like nothing serious. Yeah, I just wanted to see if I could just um, search in my filter list and just search uh, mood mood lighting and something cool would come up. But those, uh, I tested the things that were mood lighting. Wait, this one sort of looks mood lighting ish. Oh, this is just aesthetic. Oh, I like it too that it doesn't fit the crop correctly. You see this? <laughs> Oopsie. Almost. It's so close. Anyways, let's figure out where we're going from here, right? This is this is the tail end of this part, and I want to modulate. I'm thinking to B. So like, no, I don't want to do that because that's just going. There's nothing really that wrong with that, but I don't know. That's just, it's kind of plain. We sort of have our four chords that I should feel like I should work with. And maybe we'll do, like, we'll throw in an oddball every now and then. So if we're landing here, then we go to this. Then we go to this. Then we go to this. No, that's, that's, like, really played out. Let's do something different, like this. Then this. Then this. I like that more. I'm going to start playing the chords a little funny. Let's do this. Boop, 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 boop. Now, when I play the chords funny, I mean, this one's not funny. This one's just normal, right? Normal B major. And then here, instead of doing what would normally be this um, E major 7, I'm now playing it more like it's a um, C sharp minor, um, but in the second inversion, because we're doing the E in the lowest voice. We're really hammering in this E. There's three low E's in a row, and then we go. And these these two up top give it the tonality of C sharp minor, technically. Um, but there's so much E going through that it feels like we're just going like this. You know, it, it, that and this don't sound dramatically different, you know? Send you something on direct message on uh, d uh, like a Twitch whisper or like DM on Discord. Oops. And then when we go here, normally I'll go to this F sharp. Twitch whisper. Okay. Hang on a sec. But now I'm doing it like I go down here. Kind of like that. 
Oh yeah, I don't have a Discord command, but if you uh, if you did want to join the Discord, you can scroll down, and there should be a Discord button in my uh, description. I, I you know I actually turned my bot off like a long time ago because no one would ever use commands, and uh, it was just one less thing I needed to launch, and so I'm glad. Uh, it reminds me that I should turn it back on. I guess I'm saying. Well, what is this? You sent me a whole chord progression and lyrics. Mario Hartman, welcome. I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Okay, so what we were doing, we're going like this. That's the note. Gustavo, welcome back. Good mate, nice vibes. Thank you. You here. Let's play real quick. Again, this is what I have so far. I'm right in the second part right now. song today today is just some solo piano something chill and relaxing just like what we got right here and then we're gonna go like bad for just making that shit up hang on a minute we are <laughs> we are snapshotting that whole thing and now i was getting off the beat of course i'm hoping to sync this all up but we got all the right notes not bad for just like improv in it right there i think i actually might take this as a reference and what we'll, let's just make this in let's fix these timings and whatnot it's time for me to go eat some food. I'll be back in some time, all right? Catch you later. Thanks for stopping by, Sushi Monsters. As always, nice to see you. Whoops. I keep going on the wrong camera there. <laughs> Fall into streamception. Okay. So... Just this one. Okay. First and foremost, I think I played a lot of these too loud. Yeah, we got some 70s. Uh, let's just turn the whole thing. Oh, my God. Where, where are the 102s? Where the hell were those at? Okay, we're going to have some fixing to do. See, the first one I played along to a metronome. This one, I, I was probably going to play along with the metronome, but I don't know. I personally really liked that little improv thing that I just did. So, like, why not just, well, I was technically recording. Ableton's always recording, which is nice as long as you're hitting play. So. But now, hang on a minute. 
Here's the tough thing about doing it this way. <sighs> Wish there's a way I could... Linked to region. Okay. I wish there was a way I could get the pedal to come with. I'm going to have to readjust the pedal on every single one of these, too. gap. Like this chord comes out of nowhere. I like this. We, we, it's just going to take some work. going on here hang on a minute the timing's way off on this thing i need to consolidate it to this beat that's the problem which then of course means we're gonna have to go in and fix all of this You know, this might be the most tedious part of it, but I just don't want to even give up this riff. Just like what I wrote. Oh, I played it wrong the first time anyways. Well, here, that's fine. Let's just line up the pedal. Get rid of this one. Pedal's good. Add some velocities. Want this to be louder. And then I missed a note right here. It's great for a jam, seriously. I feel like this chord progression, I don't know what it is about it, but I can like, I don't know flow between it all so I think it's just because it's a very common one like a lot of these progressions you probably heard in pop songs and stuff but it just makes it so easy to flow between them and then like like keep climbing and moving and uh, and all that shit It, I don't know what it is about it. It just like clicks, <laughs> it clicks right in my brain that I don't have to think about the inversions or what chords next and where we're going. It just like everything seems to fall into place. So that's why I feel like this improv part worked out really well. Now the pedal is going to be the big thing we're going to need to change. Zip over here, zip over here. Let's do a little, little dip in there for the pedal. It's perfect. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> That's the most tedious part of work, about working with this, I suppose. 
Why? I still don't understand why there's like different levels on the pedal here. Like, why doesn't this work the same way like a device on off works, you know? There is only holding pedal and not holding pedal. Those are the only things that happen. Now, did I play that wrong and then I played it better the next time? Or no? I don't know why I hit this little extra note. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. I could almost just copy paste this. Hang on. You know what? It, if I can not copy paste, it is for the better. Even if it does mean I have to go back in and readjust these notes, the timing and all that, the, the biggest reason is that I'm just gonna get more diversity. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna just resign to the fact that the pedal is completely ruined on all of these now. <laughs> so, whatever. Let's actually just go in and just, can I just wipe this shit out? Perfect. We're just gonna have to draw in the pedal every time. Because for some reason, they don't link. I mean, it'd be really nice if they did. But whatever. It's not the end of the world. I'd love to save it to the end, too, but this is just going to bug me if I hear these. With all the notes, all that dissonance building up. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, you bastard. Um, okay. Want to change a couple things. Do I ever do that? Bum, 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 bum. No, I don't. Uh, the clips are a part to rework for sure. I hope for a couple improvements in 11 on that, yeah. There's, I don't know, Eleven's been, it's added some cool things, but it's not been, like, incredible. It could certainly be better. Um, number one, why, why do they do all this? Look at all this dead space all the time now. Why isn't this just down here? I mean, even when we flip through these, there's not that many more controls. Why is this seriously not just a subsection down here? Right? Because shit, even, I mean, I guess because then it wouldn't line up if you arranged like this. But what kind of savage arranges like this? I guess if you have a drum rack and you just have like two or three things going, then I guess. But for so many more instances, people are like pulling their whole piano roll out and they want to see a lot of it. And it'd be really nice if we had, at least give us the option. That's what I'm asking for, Ableton. Can we get a customizable deck? Can I just move this? Grab it and, and move it over here. It, no, that just makes it worse. Come on, Ableton. <laughs> what is that for? What, what would this do? I guess, never mind, that's something else. I love comping that Ableton 11 added. It's very nice. But But there's a lot of things that that I'd rather have more. Okay, wait, let's pull out. Uh, 
Comes in early though, doesn't it? Shouldn't shouldn't this go uh hang on. out a little bit. 80's way too intense. Fuck it, I'm just gonna arrange it and then we'll do the pedal later. I said it was gonna bug me, but it's actually not bugging me as much as I thought it would. I'm gonna just assume that sounds good. If not, we'll uh, we'll drag it down, and fix it later. All you guys, come over here. Just getting the timing better on these. Also, you. I guess that's fine. These guys go down well. Uh, is that the right timing? No. That's right. Can't hang over. And then delete. And delete the rest of that. So here's here's our whole little middle section right here. Consolidate that. Now we need to put in our pedal. This one, I don't even need to play it. I can just see where the pedal needs to be. Why are you doing that? I still want to play it. work. Whoopsie. Uh, uh. 
Uh, I think you can create two points uh, and shift drag line instead of pulling each one down I individually. Like, oh, like, uh... But you know what I could also do? I'm, I think I'm an idiot. Here would be, I think, the most efficient. What if I just used the pencil tool and I just went, bep, <laughs> like that? I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's the most efficient way, I think. Yeah, because it doesn't even matter how, like, how fast the, you know, I don't even have to give a certain amount. Hitting zero just instantly will lift the pedal. So, yeah, that okay, that's the thing we need to do. Let's just pop the pedal, or pop the pedal, pop the uh, pencil tool, and oh my god, what have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> this is the way to do it. Look at this. Oh, and that's it. We're already at the end. Just like that. Thank you for that, Mario. I know it wasn't exactly what you were saying, but it gave me the idea of, like, why the hell not just use the pencil tool. Underutilized tool. Isn't that a nice, lovely little break? I love that. Um, can we cleanly... I just want to hear. Copy-paste this. How, how, does, how does it flow right back into the same riff again? Welcome for the inspo, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the right idea. You're the inspiration behind it. I don't know that I like this one anymore, hang on. Um Let's do that. Mm, maybe both up? more sound of that no because then we're going da, 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 da. I don't like that yeah, maybe, maybe I do like this we just need to drive it home more I will say, I barely fiddled with the velocities on these ones, but man, I love this this decrescendo. You can even see it right here the best in these velocities, how we're like so intense over here. And then it just gets so much chiller and quieter. Now, what if we took this whole thing and put it down an octave? No, it's going to be bad because these are too muddy this low. We could... Um, what's our last, last chord here? It's nice, but we could still do something else with it. Because it's just, it's just plain old um, A flat minor. It feels very copy and pasted on there. So I want to change change it a little bit, but that also could the change could come with this. Or we could I could actually just write a third part entirely. I wonder if we could do that. Like what if we wrote a part here and then we do the song like this. And we'll add some variety, because 
you know, I might even just write a whole new improv part where we climb up and do this stuff. Probably not, actually. It'd be easier to just take what I already just created there and just rearrange the notes and make new chords. That's probably the easiest idea. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's say we're coming out of here. Let me hear this again. Could work. Actually, yeah, wait, what if we took this last chord here and this was actually an E major? Ah, no, 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 no. Doesn't get the quite quite a satisfying resolution then, if we do that. But now we go. two side by side. I think, okay, I think I'm going to go with the idea that I was saying before more where let's write a second little part in here that just goes somewhere. Um, especially because if we're ending right here, I think I could very easily finagle it to fit this then. So this E um, major seventh becomes sort of our new tonic because we sort of modulated to B major.
Ooh, I like that. So, coming right out of here. I'm gonna turn the metronome on just for right now. Okay, never mind. It's, it's harder with the metronome on. <laughs> Let's also do this. I'm just gonna turn those off. Just so I don't get it surprised Alright, I'm gonna go get some food as well. Have a good stream, dude. See you later. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Mario. Good to see you again. I'll catch you next time. So close, hang on. Oops. God damn it. Figure out how long this needs to be, too. Nah, I don't need to snapshot that. That was really easy to play. I can do that anytime.
Ugh, why can't I come up with one that sounds nice? Try that. That short. And then it'll go right in. So even shorter on this part. a little bit there. You can see I lifted too early. Technically did, did, did it too early here too, I think. Boy, I fucked up the pedal a lot. Hang on. Before I start fucking with the pedal more, I should make sure that this is all synced up good. Otherwise, I'm going to end up syncing up the piano to something that's... Or syncing up the pedal to keys that are late. Yeah, we, yeah, we got we got some, some work to do on some of these. tool the exact opposite way. Stop selecting everything. Stop it. Go back to this.
Can I... hear this whole thing from the very beginning. I still gotta think actually how I want this to start. I don't know if I want it to start exactly like this. this more. The only thing I might want to do is on these first few chords, can we do this? Let's lower these ones a bunch. This one a little bit more. This one a little more. A little more. A lot less.
I need to change the second half. I'm sure it's going to sound good there. I should change the melody more. Let's start quieter.
misclick. SoundCloud just went a little rogue there. You went undo, undo, grab all of these. We're just gonna do that pretty much. Whoops. Not that note. Let's do this. Grab. Uh, well, we'll just grab this one. Paste it on here. And uh, and then let's do the opposite. I mainly just want these for their frequencies. Or uh, frequencies, their velocities.
and some timing. No, 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 not that far back. Let's make this a little bigger. My old man eyes can't see. Um, something like that, maybe. Let's start over. Oh, stop.
86. Hang on a minute. I don't want to call this too early. Uh, oh my god, I haven't even saved yet. <laughs> Let's do that first, I think. We haven't had a lot more drop frames. That's good news. Oh yeah, I guess it'll save in the blink of an eye because all it is is just a little bit of MIDI data. Um, what I'm saying is I don't want to call it too early. But I'm very tempted to end the song here, and we would just cut it out right here. Just shy of three minutes. It is on the short end of the piano song, but again, I don't want to try to draw it out just, just to get a couple, like another minute out of it. I only want it to exist as long as it needs to, to accomplish its goal of, I don't know, evoking whatever emotion I'm trying to get out of you. Um, let's hear this all the way from the beginning. idea real quick and this will actually get us to that three minute mark that i'm talking about it's sort of stupid um but this will give a little bit more of a real piano sound so this is very tied to this tempo right now right we are very much closely involved what if we don't hit the full 75 until there now a lot can go a long way in this sort of aspect so I don't really need to go down to 60 and go up to 75. Genuinely starting at 70 and getting to 75 will already feel like a speed up when you're this low on, on tempo. So let me hear. That's a nice intro. Real simple, real subtle. We'll see if I want to do like a decrescendo too, you know, like at the end here. Or not just decrescendo, but uh, uh, retardando. Let me slow this down a little bit.
I mean, there's always this ending thing that I can tack on again. But this feels like more of a transitional sort of thing, so. It does make me think, though. Let me pop over here. Do we have a pedal? This very start of this? No. These aren't even making any noise. Okay. Uh, let's put on a utility. I think I, I, I want to end it there, I think. It kind of adds to the, this might sound stupid, but like sort of the simple unassumingness of this song. Actually, pop this open again. Maybe scooch it in a little bit more. Sometimes hard to tell how long. That's good. That's fantastic. Let's leave it at that. And boom. This track could have been a two-hour track challenge, just like, just like Mr. Ben Burns does. Just shy of that. Two hours and five minutes, so we went a pinch over. But oopsie-daisies, whatever. Close enough. Not, not bad. Um, I do think I'm going to end it here. I know it's a short stream, short tunes day, a real quick one. Um, but as I said before, I don't want to sort of layer on 
crap just to make it longer or just to stream longer. You know, when a song's done, it's done sometimes. And I think this one is a nice, nice little solo piano. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting any last minute steps that I should still do in terms of production, but there's really not a lot. You know, all I did is slap on a DQ. We got a little bit of reverb, utility at the end to fade. Did some uh, <clears throat> tempo, fiddling, whatnot, but sounds good. Um, I will master this bad boy, put it up online. It'll be released soon. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. Another successful Tunes Day in the bag, and I like this one. This is This is a real chill, relaxing piano piece. Happy with it. So thanks for watching. I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.